Aliens vs. Predator, the 2010 version. Obviously, it came out in 2010. And uh, it was actually done as a bit of a reboot, not as a sequel to previous releases in the franchise. And, uh, I remember getting this actually for my original, for the uh, computer I had at the time, and I couldn't enjoy the game. Uh, a minute of game play took about 10 minutes to play out, which means the computer I had could not handle it, which is a bummer. So I actually had to wait several years to enjoy this game. Actually, I got it as a birthday gift. So, had to wait until several years just to get a chance to play it again. But it's actually very nicely done. You can actually play which is sort of standard with most of these games either as the alien the predator or a colonial marine and each game sort of teaches you in the early chapters of it you know what you have to do to get by This one, however, had a distinction from the others. <clears throat> the campaign sort of overlap in time. While you do not necessarily encounter each of your characters separately, their effects play out. If you look at things, you have the aliens events playing out at the earliest and in part while well, part of the aliens campaign is going, the predators, uh, the Marines campaign is starting. In fact, just as you finish, I think, the first or second part of the Marines campaign, you're actually cause the events that are at the end of the Aliens campaign. And both the Aliens campaign and the Predators campaign, uh, the Alien and the Marines campaign, have events that overlap with triggering the pre the Predators campaign. And uh, could be that the Marines campaign ends as the Predator campaign ends. Or they sort of overlap a little. Which is actually pretty clever, if you ask me. I've uh, played through all the campaigns, and they each have their own benefits and unique things to do. And as the Predator, you have to rely more on stealth when it comes to humans. When it comes to the aliens, you have a neat vision mode that you can that you earn, and you also get one hell of a great weapon. I mean, uh, once you get that what his his like pike weapon, oh, that thing is just powerful. I love it. I love. I mean, you had the traditional smart blade, but 
I didn't use that as much. I had more fun with the with the pike and the plasma cannon. Well, of course, that ate up energy. So did cloaking. I just love just luring the marines to where I wanted them and then just doing a stealth kill as as the predator. The alien was fun too because uh, I'm trying to remember if they're like different vision modes for the alien. There may have been. But you also had the benefit of moving around on ceilings and taking out lights to, quote, help you. And of the three, the alien's the one that self-heals. Which was a nice little surprise. I mean, take a few gunshots, disappear into the shadows, wait a little bit, and you're healed. Also, it was fun to do a harvest. Shame I couldn't get all the intended ones to, for harvesting, but that's how it plays out sometimes. Added to it, you can literally travel anywhere. It just expands on how much you can move. Now, of course, there's downsides to that, too. You're trying to get by everything. And the Marine, well, he's got alternate vision, you know, vision modes, I think. He also has a hell of a lot of weaponry. I think one of my favorites to, uh, to quote, pick up. Of course, some of them are trickier, too. You mean, like, the smart gun... That's a two-handed weapon. You can pick up up to, like, three weapons with him. Which, honestly, is a drawback compared to older versions. But it's more realistic. And part of the game is literally using your smarts. I mean, carrying something to where it's needed being aware that you could be running into where a face hugger might be and you do have an epic battle with a queen at least one queen in the game <laughs> I still remember that one that was fun because you take, you know, if you you have to play it smart. I was doing wiping out eggs first, then dealing with regular aliens while trying to take care take out the queen. I mean, that was only the smart way to do it. And it's just proof that the game is can be challenging and fun. And each character also had their set of collectibles. For the Predator, you had to pick up trophy belts, and I believe there's a total of 35 of them. And it's quite easy to miss trophy belts if you're not paying attention for them or don't have some sort of guide telling you where they are. The same also goes for the Aliens collectibles, which are actually canisters of royal jelly which you have to destroy I missed two again can be hard when you're getting near the end of the aliens campaign and certain locations again too also overlap in those games Uh, the final one, uh, the one of the most fun ones, is the Marines collectibles, which are audio diaries. Collecting those also allows you to get a view of what has been happening, giving more backstory to the game. 
And it should also be noted that they went, they got Lance Henriksen to portray Bishop in this. Which also ties this game in with the movies that were released. As somehow knowledge of what happened to Carl uh, Carl Bishop Wayland in the fur in the Alien vs Predator movie has played a f factor in Wayland Utandi. They're aware of the Predator's existence. In fact, using the cloak technology for the combat androids. And uh, even having him address the Predator. Which I really think that was downright clever. Now, of course, I play it on one of, on the easier mode. There were this is, I think, the only Aliens vs Predator game that had achievements, uh, because earlier ones were not in a time of in ch achievements in games. There were so many games out there. I mean, achievements didn't start becoming a thing until the internet. And it should also be noted, I think, when I got the first version of the game, you had to sign up with a Steam account. Which I didn't have at the time. I purposely made one, and unfortunately I couldn't play the game. So, it, in essence, it also gave me a Steam account. I think one of the biggest fun things is that each section had key moments which you got an achievement for for surpa for clearing and each section of the game had its own challenges with it too uh, the marine one which is probably one of the hardest ones for you to get all the achievements in because at one point, you are in literally a race trying to get ahead of the coming alien swarm. Until you get to the point where it's supposed to overrun you and you get caught. You also run into things that sort of catch you off guard. And overall it does it does very well with the surprises, advancing the story, bringing you to new sections. It's a very immersive environment. I have to give it kudos. All endings for each campaign sort of hints that there will be a continuation. Now it's been 11 years, I haven't seen a hide nor hair of sight or sound of a continuation, but I'd greatly welcome it. Since each campaign ended with each character surviving, since you play them each, in different ways. Ending the alien campaign, your character, Specimen 6, becomes a new queen. Ending the Marine campaign, you rescue your colleague 
who you're both put into a suspended animation but your rescuers are working for Bishop is for Whalen Utandi as well so they are also have now the location of the alien homeworld the predator also having gotten rid of the abomination which is a alien predator hybrid uh, created by specimen six harvesting the predator also has location of the home world so it can be assumed that all three quote meet again but again that's never happened unfortunately overall like I said it's a very fun game it's a very fun experience it had online match capability I don't know if that's even an option anymore but it did a pretty good job I really liked it once I was finally able to play it <laughs> And that's all I'm going to say about Alien vs. Predator 2010. I do thank you for listening. If you have to the end, please give the video a like. I appreciate that. And until next time, this is Rich Kale here on YouTube. Rich Gen X elsewhere. Bye.